Yo, what is up everybody? It's Pino E here and there's quite a bit of stuff I want to share with you all today So I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna get into things. Lego! If you live in New York, pay attention and if you don't live in New York You might want to consider getting in your car now and taking a drive. Kobe 11 Fade to Black, Chris Paul 13 PE, Shattered Backboards, some Adidas NMDs, Adidas Ultra Boost, Adidas City Socks, Jordan 11s, 12s, 14s. Um, this is probably one of the best restocks I've seen in a very long time. And I'm quite pissed that I live across the continent and really have zero chance at this tomorrow. Okay, so really at this point, I've got nothing else to say about this restock. It, I'm just talking. I'm going to babble on while these pictures go across the screen. I know you guys don't like silence. It gets very uncomfortable if I'm not talking over this. Um, but let me know in the comments below what, what you guys think of this restock. It's, it's quite crazy. Any of you guys live in New York? Anybody planning to go down there? Um, what's your favorite shoe that they're putting back up? I don't know. Whatever you guys have to say. Leave it down in the comments below. So I've made my opinion clear on how I feel about Adidas dropping so many pairs of NMDs, but I've also said they should stick to dope colorways and these two new pairs of NMDs are exactly that. I think both these pairs are so fresh, I like how they have that OG feel with the red and blue and white on the three stripes and that prime knit upper looks amazing. At this time there is no exact date, but they should be dropping sometime in December for $170 each and I want both pairs. Today Adidas Originals also gave us a look at the next NMD to release which is the NMD R2. Right off the bat you can see the differences in the prime knit upper. It's got that design overlay. Um, another change is that they have only one of those weird things on the boost mid sole instead of two. I call them the wheel weights. At this time there's no date available for these but you could also expect them to release in December for $160. Last night, Don C gave us a look at a very rare pair of Air Jordan 6s, which Nike made for Kanye West in memory of his mother. The base of the shoe is red and white, so it's very simple, but that overlay contains rose detailing. I know some of you don't like Mr. West, and that's okay, but I admit, I wish Nike had kept them on board. Alright, and since there really wasn't any Nike or Jordan news to share with everyone today, here's a look at a couple Air Jordan 4 Pinnacle samples. I think those black ones are horrendous, but who cares what I think? I want to know your opinion. Leave it down in the comments below. Alright everyone, well that does it for today. And oh man, I just found out some dope news for later this year. I'm hoping I can put it in tomorrow's video. I'll try my best. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, and I hope you did, hit that like button. If you're new around here, please subscribe and join the squad. If you have something to say, leave it in the comments below. And I'm out!